all this stuff because, man, it was a, a long, long process. And even now, I got PTSD from this whole process because it was just so much. And we filmed this back last year. Right. And still, I can't even, I can't even date because of the simple fact of going through this whole process and so forth. So, and then you know, all the, the backlash and I'm not even, I just got noticed. I got wind of the whole reunion trailer or whatever. Mm-hmm. And everybody think I went ballistic on there or whatever. I'm like, uh, no, I said, but they love the pit me and stuff and making me, <laughs> you know, the focus. I don't know why they do that stuff. Because mm. they got other people they can focus on, they got other things they could do. But um, it no, is I don't know, is. brother. I think I'm focused on because I called somebody a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was, but mm. they showed it on the thing. They they had me saying jackass. I was like, <laughs> or something like he's a jackass or whatever. <laughs> so oh, oh, it was it was it was a very <laughs> uh, it was a very interesting um, um, reunion. Right. You know that. Mm-hmm. It was, what, 14, 16 hours of interesting fun. Content. It was very fun. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it fun. It took me it took me three days to recover you went, from it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't call that fun? <laughs> no, nah, that was not fun. <laughs> I, I, I tell people, and uh, as I meet people in public, I would rather be in Iraq than do this show over again. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah, I would rather be in Iraq fighting, you know, instead of being on this show. Because right. I mean it's Mama V. It's, yeah, it's it's really like it, it really made me not date anymore. Real right. t- all facts. It's like I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt about it, brother. I feel like yeah, for you know, for a while I feel like at the end of the day, you know, they Oh, wait, I think we all have therapists at our disposal, I think. But um, yeah. but I, I feel like, you know, at some point, you will, somebody, you know, you, you may need to, you know, utilize those ther- therapists, especially oh. like, I mean, I, you know, I know some of us have already taken advantage of that. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah. You know, I think it's just healthy in general for people to do that even just once in your lifetime. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, especially when you're after you come out of a stressful situation um, like this here, I feel like, you know, therapy should be it, I used to, to, to decom- decompress. I, say, I, I, would say, I would say that it was so much manipulation mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm cool with everything, the whole process or whatever. Right. But, and I was built for this. I was built yeah. for this. Yeah, no doubt. But, however, um, it was just that I was not prepared for uh, a lot of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. The The main point of, the main thing is the manipulation of a lot of stuff. And I had the naive thought and process that this is a dating show. Mm-hmm. You know, how bad could a dating show be? And it should be fun. It should be, you know, you got 30-somethings, 40-somethings. Why not right. have uh, a good time and, and just be and, and be cool? But uh, it, was, it definitely wasn't that. Um, and then, you know, as people, as I meet people in public, they say, like, oh, well, you're so much different in person. I said, yeah. All the I said, same, because, yeah, same thing. I said, I said, yeah. I said, even on cast, I was different. I said, but mm-hmm. they made it seem like I was antisocial. Right, hey, we know you. We know I'm not. I'm oh, you definitely that. ain't antisocial, my dude. <laughs> that I, I can definitely. tell you. No, yeah, I know I, you're not. No, we always chopped it up. We always had a good time. I mean, we always like you, uh, Clifton, myself, even like Wiley and Tori. You mm-hmm. know, we always had a good time uh, on the dates. We had a good time, um, and then you know things changed up with the camera was on. When the camera was off, some people changed up, and that kind of made it like interesting. Okay, so right. all right, that's what it is. But you know, it is what it is. No crying. No, doubt. It's no, it's no crying in dating. There's no crying in ready to love. So right, it is well, what it I, is. I, I, I feel like this here, man. Um, 
is this is all about grit, you know, the aftermath. It's all about do you have the grit to really, you know, go through this and, and you know, and be okay at the end of it because the the prize, I mean, some people join this process and you know, with the prize being love at the end. But then but then how do you love somebody and you know, while you're still under duress? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do you do that? They don't because... know some of the inside. They don't know some of the inside stuff. The jokes about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm bloopers, saying? The, the yeah. bloopers and, and stuff yeah, like no, that. So yeah, no doubt. It, it, well, it's I think all. If somebody want to want to join, I'll give them like two, two, three minutes <laughs> to holler. But um, mm. yeah, I mean it's it's it definitely was one of those uh, situations. Right, here we go in the question box. Are you guys really looking for love? Um, yeah. I'll tell you this. Looking for love is the, is what you should not do. You should be open to that, right? Yeah. Because when you start looking for it, you, then you'll find it, but exactly. it, won't be, it won't be what you're looking for once you get it. So I would say this. Open to the process, yes. Open to fault, finding that emotion, yes. Open to it all. Um, but not looking for it. Yeah. If that yeah, makes I sense. Mean, I, I mean, I was totally open for it. I mean, that's why <laughs> I went on the show because I was like, it was pandemic. I'm single. Uh, right. You know, they presented me with a, a proposition of mm -hmm. dating in the DMV. It's like, what's the worst could happen, right? Right. And the worst did happen. <laughs> no doubt. And, and, you know, I laugh at it, right? Because you laugh at your pain. So a lot of what if I, only thing I, I, I regret is, or I, uh, I'm disappointed at, if they didn't give you a full context around, or full content around the context, and allow you to understand, okay, Laverne is cocky, but he's not cocky because of, of anything physical. It's more about spiritual and his upbringing. Right. And, and him, you know, persevering through some things. So that's why, because if you're in the military and you get deployed or you get, or you have to handle personnel, you have to handle millions uh, of dollars of equipment, mm -hmm. that's responsibility. You can't be second guessing yourself. You have to be decisive. You have I'm to down. be confident. And if you go to a war zone, if you go, to hmm. deploy overseas by yourself, right. being a young uh, young man, a black man from um, the streets and being presented with that responsibility. Yeah, and then you come out and you're doing, you know, you handle your business. Yeah, it's like Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan, people think he's cocky. No, he's confident because he put in all the work for his craft to be the best at it. So right. he can, just like Kobe Bryant. And I'm not, you know, and, and that's where, you know, I just wish people could understand it's nothing against no one else. Right. And, and I would never put myself above anybody else. If, yeah. uh, if anything, I'm always looking to help others out and things of that nature. So I no. wish they, I wish you all would have saw <clears throat> like me doing that with all my cast members, the ladies, the guys, because I show reverence to everybody. Right. So we got a couple questions in here. Um, first off, I want to say thank you, SMI, for uh, for the the shout. Appreciate that. Um, question: What y'all type physically, emotionally, and all that? Um, you want to go first? Give it, give give it to them in thirty seconds or less. Uh, I'm not dating, so I don't have a type. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, <laughs> so for me, I feel like. Um, a type is I don't know it's somebody that that when you see them like they you they give you that fire that spark there is not a thing to put it into words you just have it there is that you know the the energy the back and forth things of that nature so that's what that's what really creates the type and it doesn't mean you know that you have to fit into the box it just means that we have to both do it for each other Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day. Well um, said. So it says, uh, let me see. Would you ever be open to this process again? I think we already talked about that. It's hell, all in all hell. Hell all. to the now. <laughs> right. It's, it's all in all hell now for me. Um, uh, someone said you still have a type. I don't have a type. I don't date. I don't right. have a type. 
I know what's not for me. Let's just put it this way. I know what I don't want. Mm -hmm. And at this process, it confirmed it. And I'm literally taking a long, 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 long break. I'm focusing on other things in my life. And dating is the last thing that I ever would focus on. Period. Yeah, so I am sparkling smile says this. Um, if I was on the show, I, um, it says, if I was on the show, I'm not really sure if I could take it seriously because of all the stress that comes along with it. Well, let me tell you about this real quick. The stress that goes with the show, you don't see that until it's done. And like until it's done, yeah. hit. Once yep. it hits the television screen, that's when the stress kicks in. You, you're good. You know, you're having fun. You're being who you are. You're having fun on dates. <clears throat> Well, you guys are, you know, having a great time. So you don't really see that. That doesn't show up until you well, start well, see, to see well, yourself see, on TV. Well, see, I seen it beforehand. And, and I think uh, uh, Paul will attest to this. So when I first came into this whole process, I was probably the most talkative one. Mm -hmm. So I was engaging with everyone. Mm -hmm. But when they made that like um, the butter, I was the butt of the joke because mm -hmm. I was so talkative. And things of that nature, I was like, okay, I'm, I don't like that because for me to engage with someone that all these people I don't know, I need to talk to them. Right, what no you doubt. expect me to do? Be have ESP? Right. And, you know, the oh, ladies wow. used to make me the butt of the joke. Yeah, he's right. very talkative. He has a lot to say. And they never said that I talked about me. I asked them about them. And I engaged with them on a level that a 45-year-old should engage with a woman on. Mm -hmm. And they use that as a way to make a joke. Right. So um, it started from day one for me, which I was cool with. Like I said, you know, I was an issue. And that's the reason why I never uh, said I would watch it, because it's just too much anxiety that comes right. with it. Because you don't know how they're going to cut it, edit. Because with some, some, some of the things that was happening, and I was like, oh, okay, interesting. Because I just thought this would be dating and have fun. Mm -hmm. And and see, and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I just saw somebody say, Vern is a chatty patty. You don't know Laverne. So you all need to really chill with the negative comments and stuff. My grandmother told me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, just don't say nothing at all. You don't have to like me, but let's not be disrespectful because you mm -hmm. don't know a person and you don't know what they're going through. Right. So chill out with that stuff. You know, it, you know, you go back and forth and you do things and you say things. It's just very immature. So don't do it. You know, there's enough going on in the world now. So chill out. It's really irritating. Right. Well, that sounds like a great time for a commercial break. <laughs> Welfare, you get just what I need. All right, ready? <laughs> so we, we're going back. <laughs> All right, I quit. I quit. All right, so peanut butter. At, sends a question and sends a question to you and says, Vern, can I come over? Don't answer that. Negative. Um, <laughs> can't come over. So, <laughs> stranger, Julie, danger, stranger danger? No. <laughs> <laughs> jo Jolie uh, says, What about the process? What is it? I'm sorry. What was it about this process that made you not want to date at all? I could tell you this. It is exhausting. Like, nobody, like, you, okay, see, love should be so easy, right? Exactly. Emotional <laughs> love should be easy AF, but it ain't. Why? Actually, I mean, actually, they, it's, it's not made easy actually, in, actually, in actually, the process. Paul, What's actually, up? Paul, it's just a dating show should be fun. Dating should be fun. And we don't have to make it difficult. I go back to when we was high school, elementary, junior high school. If we like someone back where I'm from and back in my day, mm -hmm. do you like me? Circle yes or no. Right. You circle yes, it's on. We're going to start. I'm going to walk you home. I'm going to carry your books, carry your book bag, get to the corner, give you a hug, right. probably and, get a little kiss. Uh -huh. And next weekend, I'm going to try to take you to the skating rink. Right. So that way I can buy you so, buy you a hot dog or whatever and chill. Mm -hmm. We got whole mortgages now. We got car notes and all that stuff. We got no curfews, but we made dating so hard. If you like a person, go out with a person, have fun, don't be judgmental, and just let it flow. Let it be organic. Don't force right. it. 
if so, you have if you have issues, if you got traumas from dating, address them. Right. So that way you won't be bringing baggage into another situation. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, have fun because this yes. life you we live every day and we can't get the days back. So that's one part I, I regret about this whole process. I can't get that time back. I could have been investing that time in some other thing mm -hmm. instead of having to deal with negativity because they edited it a certain way and put content out there that right. they didn't full, fully, they understood what they was doing, but they really didn't have any empathy or they wanted to get ratings or they wanted people to look at. I don't understand why they want people to look a certain way. I still don't understand that, but it so is what it is. So SMI is saying the thing is that they need storylines and it comes at the expense of you guys and other cast members, yeah. which I think, I mean, obviously it is, but here, here's, here's what you got to understand too. When we're talking about reality television, right? Or television, right? We're talking about like cops and shows like cheaters. That, that's reality TV. That's caught in the moment. There's no, there's no <coughs> professionals. There's no, Nothing to redirect your thoughts to believe, you know, whatever they want you to believe. It, that is in, truly in the moment, and that is reality television. Um, well, it's, it's, yeah. it's actually not, and ours is really not reality if you look at it because Cops was filmed on in, location, on location. Yeah. yeah. And, and ours it's, was filmed, like most people don't understand, ours was filmed way back and is edited, it's stuff moved around, timelines, right. storylines, and all that stuff. So you're not getting stuff in its full un un unfiltered format. You get it a filter format based off a time limit and a storyline that they want to do. Right. Um, it's no crying in uh, in, re in a reality TV, so it's no you know complaints. Mm -hmm. It's just that you understand, and I would never do it again. Right. So let's pivot to one of the questions in the um, chat. Um, so somebody asks, what is one thing about yourself that you know is negative that you could work on and change? What could you fix? Um, what The one thing I can work on Yeah, this on is for is, you specifically, but I could tell you about me oh, if, the one thing, if, the one if thing, they want. The one thing I can um, stop being so lazy with communication, thinking people understand, you know, how you come across. So mm -hmm. I need to uh, work on my approach right. because I assume that Everyone is a loving, caring, fun, you know, want to enjoy life. And not saying that they're not, but in our process, I don't have any regrets how I did anything. Let's be clear. Um, okay. And the reason why is because I never treated anyone bad. I never did anything. And if I did, I apologize. Mm 